Today I am on Race Road in Anne Arundel County at the confluence of Deep Run and Piney Run. And just wanted to show you an area we recently cleaned up. Uh, what we had down here were some uh, steel beams that were kind of sticking out of the river here. There are several of those um, from former guardrail, probably when this bridge was built. Uh, and we had a lot of sandbags that were down just at the edge of Piney Run here, about to go into Deep Run. I found lots of sandbags down the river in various places. Um, these were full of sand. Um, so what we did is we just removed the sand and um, took the bags out, bagged those up as trash, uh, left the sand on site. So this area is looking a lot better. We still have a few items to get. There's a steel beam here, kind of in vertically. That's going to be a, a, a bear to get out of there. I'll keep working at it here and there. Maybe Mother Nature will help us out. And um, there was a lot of stuff that was around the corner this way, up, up river on Deep Run. You can't see that from here, but I'll show you later. Uh, a whole lot of stuff we got out of there. About a thousand pounds of metal um, and trash, electronics, all kinds of things. Um, so that was a pretty productive day. I also wanted to show you from here, if we look south on Race Road, there's a new area where the county came through and put in some rocks as a barrier and a berm of dirt. I'll come over and show you that a little more closely. I'll tell you all about that. So this spot at the big bend here in the road um, has been a notorious place for dumpers. There's plenty of room here. There was plenty of room here for people to pull off. This is all gravel, some asphalt, and various things mixed in. I'm um, not sure how it got there. Uh, I don't think anybody knows anymore. But it goes all the way around the bend, all the way around this way. And people will sit here and eat lunch and then just dump their stuff um, while they're making phone calls. Um, people that are just driving through here, going from here to and fro, will just toss their stuff out the window in this area. So this, what this does is prevents people from pulling over, sitting there, waiting for a quiet moment when somebody's not in the area, quickly dumping a truckload of stuff and driving away. So this, this gives them no opportunity to do that. So pretty sure, based on the success of another area just south of here, where Anne Arundel County did this same thing, uh, much smaller area, but uh, total success. We've not had a single dumping event where that occurred. I reminded them of that, and they almost had completely forgotten that they had done that. Um, so I told him where it was, gave him some video, showed him um, where to find it, and they checked it out, looked at it, and this time they've come through nicely. They come through with some nicer looking rocks. The rocks they used in the first one were uh, <laughs> um, pretty crumbly. In fact, they're kind of crumbling into dirt right now. But at least it gave the berm a chance to establish itself. On the other one, you'll see lots of grass growing. Here they've just put down the mesh and the um, grass seed and some things on this. So this will sprout up in a month or two um, and look pretty green. We had a really intense thunderstorm in the last couple days. It was last Friday. Um, knocked out power for thousands of people. And um, this is the only long race road. This is the only tree that I saw um, that actually fell over into the road that had to be removed right away. Um, even just this morning, the tree came all the way out here to the guardrail. At some point, it extended beyond that. Um, you can see where the, it dented on that side over there. Um, so the tree fell all the way across the road, got the guardrail there. They cut it all up, left some pieces here for a couple days, and they finally came by and uh, hauled it away. So, Thank you, Anne Arundel County. Looking good, except for that little dent. So this little miniature rapid here um, and the immediate surroundings had about a thousand pounds of metal embedded in the mud and the gravel right down in here. Um, this beast was upside down from where you see it. You can see the lines the way the water was going. Um, the part that was exposed, the white part was under the water, stayed painted. The exposed part, which is gray and rust colored, was the part that was sticking out and rusting away a little bit by little bit. But that thing is really heavy. You can see it has wheels on it. it looks like it was a welding cart or some, some, some kind or some kind of heavy duty item like that. Hard to say for sure without the rest of it being here. 
There were uh, there was a refrigerator that was up here a little ways. Um, various strange items, unidentifiable. And the other big item we have left here is this uh, former piece of a conduit. I guess it went under the road. It may have been part of the uh, Piney Run. Uh, the way the Piney Run got underneath Race Road before the bridge was built, possibly. Um, looks like it just got dumped here. Folded up and dumped. Extremely heavy. It's got some dirt in it. I don't know that we'll be able to empty it out. So um, I'm not sure what the uh, plan would be to get rid of that. Other than to maybe bring a crane or some kind of vehicle up close above tie this up and try to pull it up over this bank which won't be easy anytime we have these overhangs and trees and snags something this heavy is not want to gonna want to go without a fight so we'll come back here in the late fall when all the leaves have gone reevaluate and see if that's gonna come out of here some of these other things like these big concrete chunks <laughs> Ugly as sin, but they're not coming out of here. Some of the smaller stuff can come out. Some bricks, cinder blocks, pieces of conduit with some metal snags. Snags of metal kind of sticking out around the edges. We should get rid of that if we can. It's dangerous. Now, there is some more stuff under the, under the uh, water here. I haven't quite got to it all. There's some pieces that like this guy here like part of a table maybe uh, there's a couple other things underneath the water here but um, I was getting tired last time so we stopped and running out of daylight so now let's see what it did, how much I can get done today that looks like a good place to start right there love finding these bricks with the name of the company or the town where they're made kind of baked in this looks like the Excelsior 